Hey guys, welcome back to Defeating Hair Loss. Guess who's in the house again tonight? Your mom, Bobby D, your my boy. boy. <laughs> With an even better hairstyle. Yeah, try something different. So maybe try to grow a bullet out, maybe. Can you kind of turn so that, wow. Yes. How cool is that? Thanks, Steve. You know, I, I got my hair back, so I'm gonna just try, try every hairstyle I can. So. I love it. I love it. So uh, we're gonna change the venue. We're trying to bring it out to you guys. We got a lot of ideas. Bobby and I. He's so cool. He's been able to like travel around and do this yeah. stuff with me. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my message out there to every one of you that are losing your hair. And I've got the best model in the history of the world when it comes to hair and hair loss. Too kind, Steve. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Tonight's video is, what have you learned? So one day, Bobby is gonna take the reins. Hopefully not for a while. Not for a while either. <laughs> I need you here, Steve. <laughs> and Bobby is, uh, you know, I, I gotta tell you, like, you know, what an amazing human being. This kid is on time, he's on point, he follows the rules, he's that guy that never lets you down. I mean, you know, I'm kind of tough to please. You know, I've been chasing this hair thing forever. I'm still not looking like John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> How many people are? <laughs> yeah, but you know, you man, you you do it. So I'm happy to have you on board and hopefully you'll be able to spend a little bit more time with us if that's okay with you. Yeah, of course, yeah. So let's start off with a little quiz, yeah. a little test. <laughs> Bobby, you've been with me for a while now, six months. YouTube viewers, thank you so much for watching. What have you learned? Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, um, I guess from the beginning of knowing you, Steve, uh, I wish I'd known this sooner. Um, we got the preventative treatments, you know, the finasteride. Uh, you know, I never got on minoxidil, but that's another one too, if you know your hair. And, um, you know, if you notice hair loss early, you know, early on, get on that preventative treatment, and, you know, it can save you a lot of money in the future, so. So number one, yeah. preventative treatments, yes. get it early, Bobby, that's number one. What's number two? You got another one? Um, I guess another one would be, you know, check your photos. You know, if you're taking finasteride or minoxidil, you know, take mm. photos from the beginning you know, before you start. Mm. And then, you know, six months after, see if it's, you know, working for you and up to a year. You listen really well. I do, well. I do. I, I see you all the time, Steve. It's engraved in me. <laughs> so just, to, just so I can reiterate what Bobby said so well, is that this stuff will drive you crazy. Looking in your mirror every day, in your bathroom mirror, you know, we talk about it all the time. Good hair days, bad hair days. If you're having a bad hair day, man, you're losing your hair and you're not happy. It's, that's not a nice way to start off the day. One of the ways to manage that is manage your own expectations. The way to do that is, you know, you guys have these phones now. We're all supposed to know how to do all these selfies and all that stuff. Maybe me, not so much, but you young guys, you can do that. Track them and don't track them every day. Don't focus on them every day. Look at them at minimal about four months, most likely about six months, and we're just talking from a preventative side here. That way you're knowing where you're going. And remember, these preventative treatments, as amazing as they are, I consider them the miracle cure for hair loss, don't work as well on the hairline and everywhere else. And then again, our model, he's did a great job because he's protecting all that hair elsewhere, and he had the transplants in the hairline. How about number three, we got another one? Yeah, I would say, you know, if you're if it's too late for you and you're, you're can't prevent a treatment, it's not going to work for you or it's not working effectively. Um, if you want a transplant, go that route. You know, like, you know, for me personally, you know, I, I wanted a transplant. You know, you try to talk me out of it, but yeah, I did my research. and I, I, I did too. To get it to, yeah. Um, that I, you know, I did my research. I found Dr. McGrath online, I did my research, um, found you on YouTube with David DiMuccio, and, you know, I talked to you and, you know, the rest is history. So I would say, you know, finding a good board certified surgeon and, you know, go from there. Great, great point. And you know, to reflect on that, Bobby, again, a credit to you, following the rules, like not jumping in, doing your research, making sure you talk this through. Let's look at which procedure would work better for you. We're not just jumping on airplanes so no. fast. We're not just taking weird, wacky derma roll and stuff on the internet and all that. It's like, let's see how this makes sense. And we've talked about that. Right? And, and for me too, it's just, you know, that's, that's an investment. That's a lot of money. You, know, you want to do your research. You want to just get a crappy you know, hair surgeon. You know, that's, that's your book. I think experience is everything. Hey, you know, money always matters. You know, we're all in this together, and I'm one of these frugal guys. You know, we just talked about the car I drive. Yeah. I'm not one of those flashy guys, but you know what? It's not so much about the money, it's more about that donor hair. It's preservation, and it's making sure we protect that donor hair. This gentleman is a really young kid. He's still just hit 30. He's turning the corner in his life. He's got a great job, he's doing great all the girls, all that stuff that everybody wants. He needs the hair. 
and he needs to protect that hair. And I'm sitting here next to someone that was at one time just a patient, and I'm really proud that everything I've learned and all my passion that's built up inside me is reflected in how I can help you. It helped Bobby, and you know, I just we just want to help you. So, so again, now we got what one more? What's number four? Watch the, watch the channel, defeating hair loss. This watch this channel. Watch my channel. Just Bobby Della. I have Steve on all the time. Steve's the fan favorite. You know, this channel is this channel's growing. Give me a lot of great information out every week. So stay tuned. Bobby, we're turning the corner. We're gonna go to gyms. We're gonna go to hair salons. We're gonna go to froofy hair salons where they spend a lot of money. We're gonna go to urban barber shops with the edges and take a look and see how that how people feel about their hair. I know out there people are walking around, nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it on any of this TMZ stuff and none of this, you know, there's never been a Kardashian episode where they talk about the hair, right? No. Maybe because they got beautiful genetics, but that's beside the point. Anyway, Bobby, you're amazing. Let's take this journey to a whole other level. Right, Bobby, thank yes, you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.